Hi, my name is Everett. Today I'm reading Investigators by John Patrick Green. This is the first one, and for some reason it doesn't have a name, so I'll just read it, but it won't have a name. So, let's go. Chapter 1. In a world plagued by crime, corruption, and confusion, one organization works in the shadows to right these wrongs, sending its top agents to solve any mysterious mystery. These are our stories, Mango and Brash. Investigators are on the case. Mango, get off my case. Oh, sorry, Brash. Our new vests are in this suitcase along with our undercover excitement. Is it cowboys? I hope it's cowboys. A mustache. It is cowboys. Hey, partner. A mustache and you question how do I look? Cowboys in the city? That's absorb. What? You never heard of an urban cowboy? He honk, 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 honk. Look, we're not going undercover as cowboys we're bakers then this mustache just means only one thing pizza cupcakes what mango how do you get pizza from a mustache oh i don't know like uh i don't know like every pizza box ever well then i guess you're not familiar with the world famous cup Cake Chef Gustachio Mustachio. Fine, you know what will settle this. This fine, this file will ha- has our assignment. I was gonna say thumb war, but I, okay, read this file, I guess. Let's see. Secret file. Beep. Oh, holographic kit. Investigators. Your assignment is to go undercover at the batter down the bakery owned by this man, world famous cupcake chef Gustachio. Ha ha, I was right. You might also recognize him from like every pizza box ever. Ha ha, I was right also. Quiet you two, chef Gustachio have gone missing. Gustachio hasn't been seen in two weeks. He, we suspectful foul ball play. Batter Down was about to unveil his latest culinary masterpiece. Someone must be after this secret recipe. Or maybe some ne- nefarious villain needs his ex- an expert baker and or mustache model twirl. Hey, anything's possible. You're missing Mango and Brasses to f- find out what happened to Chef Gustafio and make sure his secret recipe is safe. Don't worry, we're on the case. This file will self-destruct eventually. Verp. I'm not getting on the case again. You yelled at me last time, two weeks earlier. Ow, my head. What? happened where am i wait a minute i'm waxing my handler mustache the next i'm behind bars hello anyone there splish chef gustafio who who are you what are you wakey wakey ha 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 time to bake e chapter two are we supposed to pretend to be Gustafio with this mustache? No one who who really knows him will far fall for it. But I've learned Suit likes its agents to be prepared for anything. Maybe wearing it will trick the culprit into revealing themselves. Do you want to wear it? It could be your brash stash that's okay mango i think you the look has grown on you grown on me does this mean i have learned how to shave since we don't know what suit wants us to do with the mustache maybe it's best of if 
just take it. Is this it? Why is the mascot a duck? That's not a duck. It's a goose. Gustavio Goose Tavo. I don't get it. Gustavio, Chef Gustavio. What? Where? You've come back to us. Hug. Oh, uh, it's uh, me, Gustavio. I recognize that bushy mustache anywhere. The tail is new, though. Um, I, I had some work done. That explains it, silly me. Glue. You, on the other hand, are obviously an alligator for in a chef outfit. I'm from accounting. Uh, hmm. I thought everyone is counting was a shark. Hi, Oscar. Morning, Anglia. Oh, well. What do I know? I'm junior assistant Baker Murray. I'm brash. Oh, is this that the secret recipe for your latest culinary mist masterpiece, Gustavio? Oh, right. Secret recipe? Of course. Let's get in inside before those recipe thieves from cupcakes are us come to steal it. Yep, yep, yep. Right through here to the batter down kitchen. And now if you'll get out the recipe, I can assemble the ingredients with the chef's permission. You heard junior assistant Baker Marie hand over the recipe. Fine, Chef Casasio will get the recipe him a self. Self-destruct in three, two, one, boom. Oh no, your safety measure in case the secret recipe ever fell into the wrong hands must have baker backfired. Who could have possibly predicted this one wonders? Well, it's a good thing you have a backup. I do. And your brain, silly. Don't you remember the recipe, Nagi Nagi? Yes, you, how right you are, Junior Assistant Baker Marie. Now leave Chef Gustachi alone so the master can find his m muse. I'll stay here for um, legal purpose. What are you doing? I've... I'm go if I'm going to remember the re this recipe, I'm going to need my assistant, Mango. You're here to find out what happened to the real Gustavio. Remember, you're not Gustavio. Oh, right. Tag, you're Gustavio. Slap. Hee <laughs> hee, brass sash. This is serious, Mango. Now let's look for clues. I do look pretty cool, though. I heard that sometime earlier in a cool dark place. I ha have another b b batch ready. Hmm. No, we. This is no good. Crush. That's just the way the cookie crumbles. You're no baker. You're a fool. It's not me. It's the ingredients. This is flour. This flour is no good. And this butter is salted i need unsalted unsalted say you that word again and it's you who it's you who will be assaulted i want the super dough please i can fix it i just need better supplies fine i'll get you what you need but don't fail me again mustachio Chapter 3. Find anything yet, Mango? Nope, nothing suspicious so far on this security came footage. You know, I bet Junior Assistant Baker Marie is on, in, on, its, on it. It's always an inside job. Maybe you'd better go gate him. Right? Enduro Gator mode on. Whoop, 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 whoop. That's not a thing. You're just making noises. Hey, 
you did things your way, I'll do things my way. Oh, that mango can be so frustrating. But I guess he's an okay partner. I just don't want anyone to get hurt again. Is he ready to hear what happened the last time I went undercover at a bakery? Or more important, am I ready to tell him what happened to my last partner? Shiver. I still get chills whenever I think about that accident. Oh, wait. I'm in the walk-in refrigerator. Oh, wait. Again? That, what is this? Or should I say, what isn't this? Meanwhile, across town, something totally unrelated is going on down at the science factory. Inside, where all the science is made, the head science is about to reveal the latest scientific, scientific, scientific breakthrough to the world. Okay, okay, settle down. Fellow scientists, I've gathered you here to witness the uneveling of our last scientific breakthrough, the thingamabob. Is it Bob's idea? Spotlight, please. Bob's idea? No, of course not. It's called the thingamabob. The breakthrough is, it's broken. Broken? What? The breakthrough is broken? Who broke the breakthrough? I bet it was Bob. Rile up. Rile up. Stop it. Stop riling up. Your scientists behave like it. So the breakthrough is only slightly broken. We'll have it fixed in a jiffy. A jiffy? Is it a prices unit of measurement? Neither is slight. Lee. Boo! Boo! But we have got a dozen, dozens of reporters here for this. Nope, it's just me, Sissy Boring Story Action News. What? Only one reporter showed up for this? In my camera, in my cameraman of the, if he counts, I think we all know that he does not count. Hey, I know how to count just as high as any of you eggheads. Gasp. You apologize do, to Dr. Doodledoo right now. Oh, sorry, Dr. Doodledoo, for calling you an egghead. Say all right, bruh. Now then, while the breakthrough gets unbroken, what if we move the festivities outside? It's a nice day out and we're all a bit an antsy from being cooped up, Blair. I mean, stuck inside. Aw oh, man, we gotta be outside. Ack, there's a giant ball of fire in the sky. Who has sunscreen? I only have SPF 3000. What the sitch? We got a code sunburn. Repeat code sunburn. Code sunburn? Ah! Oh, code sunburn? What's that? That's when all the signs come out outside and they never come outside. The sun, it burns. You there, stop running around like a headless chicken. You know that's incentive to Dr. Doodledoo. Sorry. Wow, the breakthrough is even more newsworthy than I thought. I sh we should call the chopper. You heard it first, viewers. A code sunburn facts 
has emptied the science factory, and a value thing Bob sits unguarded inside, just waiting to be revealed. Hmm. Ha. 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 Chapter four. Stay tuned for more on Action News Now. Boring. I want to ask you some questions, Murray. If that even is your real name. It's Junior Assistant Baker Marie, and your name is Brash. Was Brash. Mango. Mustache. Oh, the mango mustache. That's one of our top selling fruit filled croissants. I don't. Don't you wish you could come up with such amazing recipes, Master Brash? Nom nom. Brash is his first. Name, wait, last name. Your name is Brash Brash. I'm Mango. Go. No, wait, he's Mango. No, he's Gustavio because he has the mustache. I'm Brash. Now then, when I Brash, no Gustavio Brashio, no Gustavio Mustachio went messing. For two weeks, did you, Marie, think the alert and anyone alert? Oh, the red alert. That's a red velvety cupcake topped with jalapenos, pepper. It's like a five alarm fire in your mouth. Have a bite. No thanks, I'm full. Ah,、uh, just one bite. That's okay. One little bite. Ah,、uh, ding ding. A customer saved by the bell. Splat. Welcome to the batter down. What does that even mean? I have a special order for a birthday cake. Ah,、uh, special. Oh, a special order. Chef Gustavio will handle this personally. Gustavio, that's me. I mean, that's the, the, the other guy. Wow, this cake you want is huge. You can fit a dinosaur in this thing. Yes, and make it snappy. We're alligator. We're alligators. Snappy is what we do best. I mean, I'll get this the to Chef Gustavio right away. Brash, Junior Assistant Baker Marie is on to us. What? How did she reveal anything about Gustavio's disappearance? Well, no, she either she's either a criminal, Mister Mind, or completely clueless. But whichever she is, we've got to bake his this special order, and our cover to is blown. Hmm, this might be tough. This cake is required a big oven, and I just discovered a big clue. The big oven is missing. Oh no! Right, clearly its disappearance must have something to do with Gustavio's disappearance. No, I mean, how are we gonna bake the cake now? Oh, well, luckily we can bake it in this even bigger oven. Doesn't that mean that's the big oven and the other one's missing is the medium oven? Hey, which one of us is Chef Gustavio? Joint, I am. Bah. We don't have time for this in identity crisis. Let's just bake this cake, then get back to our investigation. Active mode, mode. Voop voop. That's not a thing. Investigators baking the cake. Is it time a thing? Even a thing that they know how to make. They use eggs and flour and. Unsalted butter, and it took them an hour to spell science. No, it didn't, and that doesn't even rhyme. Hey, that wasn't too hard. Seems like we've done some baking before. Brash, happy birthday, science. What? No, I've never baked anything. Um. Now get back out there, Gustavio, and keep an eye out for anything suspicious.
I will good. There's nothing suspicious about baking a giant cake for a large mysterious figure wearing a raincoat on a sunny sunny day. Here you go, sir. One giant birthday cake made fresh by me, Chef Gustavio Mustachio. Thank you. Kaching, and here's your seat. Hey, do you sell mitts here? Oven mitts? Sigh, this is batter down. You want batter up the sporting goods store down the street. Thanks. Blink. I get it. Batter down. Batter like cake batter and down like a like goose down. Goose tavi, tavo. Now it all makes sense. Sense? Oh, sense. The sense. Sturldo. It smells like strawberry, but it tastes like. Uh, Gustavio is going to go back in the kitchen and remember his secret recipe. Zip. Tap, tap, tap. Chapter 5. Sissy Boring Story here reporting outside the science factory. With me is Scientist Bob. Tell us, Bob, what's this scientific breakthrough you're c cooking up inside? Haha, uh -huh, I won't tell you what I'm cooking saucin, but I will tell you it will blow this breakthrough. Bleep, blurp. You done yet? Need more time? They're on to me. Six me. Sorry, Sophie. Scientist Bob got a motor. Well, what wasn't informative at all? So let's check it with the action news. Now, helicopter in the sky. Way up high. Yes, I see. I am indeed in the sky. And let me tell you. Nothing is more exciting than watching a crowd gather for a press conference. I, it looks t so busy down there. I'd be surprised if nothing snuck past sec sec security. Secrety. And well, sissy, that certainly would be newsworthy. Hold up, hold up. We're in the middle of a code sunburn. Now, one gets through. What's this? Special delivery birthday cake from scientists. For the scientists. Birthday cake? Oh, who's this thing for? The, for the thingma, thingama, I mean, for the uh, Bob. Bob, Bob, Bob. Ah, here he is, Scientist Bob, the guy, the new guy. You say it's his birthday? Guess I gotta go get him a car now. Anyway, what you'll need to do is... Huh, where'd that delivery guy go? Well, better not leave this cake out in the hot sun. Any of you scientists? Any of you scientists, Bob? Ah, no, I'm not Bob. Bob's the worst. I bet Bob's not even a real scientist. Gee, sounds like this Bob is a popular fella. Never seen this place so empty. Hey, are you... Can't you see? I'm on the phone. Sheesh. Enjoy the party or whatever. Bump. Huh, what's this? Birthday cake for Bob? It's Bob's birthday? Figures he wouldn't tell anyone. He's always bringing in baked goods that he never shares. Look, look at the size of that thing. I bet he's trying to steal the spotlight from today's scientific breakthrough. So what you want me to do with it? And I'll leave it here. I'll deal with it later. And they're all working again. Soon the world will know the true nature of this bo this or thingamabob. Wait, I'm not calling it 
that anymore. I don't want give. I don't want to give Bob the satisfaction. How about thing on my Steve? Oh, that works, Steve. And okay, guy. Now run along outside and tell everyone recess is over. Hey, hey. slurp. Mmm. Man, if I'm out here in the sun much longer, I'm gonna cook. Tell me about it, bruh. Good news, everyone. The breakthrough is fixed through. Now please file back inside the auditorium in orderly fashion. Remember, your travel buddy. Two by two hands of blue. Two by two hands of blue. I don't know how often these scientists come outside, but at least they're getting some vitamin D. Oh, it looks like they're heading back inside over to you, sissy. That's right. We can finally learn about what all the fuss over the scientific breakthrough. Waboom! Chapter 6. This is the action news now helicopter in the sky. An explosion had just rocked the science factory down on Electric Avenue. Ah! What is it, Marie? Is it danger? Pose, pose. There's been an explosion at Wait a minute. There's something different about you two. Uh, alert. Oh, an alert. Investigators report to suit headquarters immediately. You know what this means? To the bathroom. Verp. Then you gotta, you gotta go. Slam, click, flush. Mango, what did you do? What? I had a lot of fiber today. Mango, you know... The quickest way to sue headquarters is to flush ourselves down the sewer. Oh, right. What are you doing? I'm washing my hands. Sheesh. Who? How were you raised? Are you ready now? Yes. Um, I'm just going to flush a couple of times so there's like a buffer between our business and my business. You, air quotes. Flush, flush. Fresh bowl, plunk, floosh, plunk, floosh. Investigators are in the sewers. Oh, another montage. They're not lob doers, but they're law. They're not law breakers, but they're law doers. Dirty law doers, yuck. Alligators in the sewers might be a glitch. Paper glitch. I love craft. I love art and craft paper. You're thinking of paper match. But the investigators are gonna save the day. Mango, one at a time. Sorry, this happens to me with revolving doors too. Investigators reporting for duty. Hey, hey, duty. Oh, where are we? Good question. Suit headquarters is huge every time I come here i come out of a different bathroom it's like being lost in a mall oh wait boop a map genius you are here what wait a minute as we walk this glowing are you are here blob just moves with us no matter where are we where we no matter where we go here we are there you are ah a floating eyeball greetings investigators i am computerized ocular remote butler that's new i may not have a nose but i take it you arrived via your as you as you will mode of transport yep stinky then i will escort you to decoration oh i already washed my hands lay the reins and repeat 
another montage already or is this just a musical accompaniment with sh soap and shampoo you'll smell so sweet or for record i just want to stat that this is no way embarrassing whatsoever this machine will make you squeaky clean cold clean on the outside clean in between i feel so shiny towel thanks your snatch this way gators to the general inspector's office oh i think i don't think i've been to the general inspector's office yet no that's that's the inspector general's office. We're heading to the general inspector's. Ah, uh, I get it. Inspector Vagu, inspector general. Next should be inspectors specific. What inspectors so pacific? Inspector pacific handles west coast operations. Are we, th are we there yet? Ah, here we are. No, don't open it. Don't go in there. Not unless you want to catch an infection disease. Oh, I see general infector. That's an easy and impossible deadly mistake to make. Why even have such a room? Keep up, gators. Finally, this is it, gators. Thanks, you orb. Uh, mm -hmm. Oh, your tip. We appreciate we appreciate your generosity, sir. Yeah, yeah. Investigators, thanks for coming so prop promptly. I know you're in the middle of a Gustavo Mustachio case. Approximate eighteen eighteen pages ago. An explosion rocked the science factory down on Electric Avenue. Good golly, 18 pages has it already been that long. Anyway, your agent's nearest that location, or are we, or, or you were before I ordered you to come here, but you will be again once you get back there. There's little to go down, to go on. But I have a lunch. This explosion and your current investigation may be correct. I'm sorry, hunch. I said lunch when I meant hunch. I'm feeling a bit peckish, but enough about me. Mango and brash. It's time to suit up and not let shoot down this way gators time to get fitted for your new vests hey why does inspector vague get two offices that's inspector Vagu. they handle striking poses and all manner of dance okay vag vague vague that's a bit of a stretch indeed it takes a lot of stretch to be limber enough for all those fancy dance moves. Keep up, gators. Food court. Oh, here we are, the arms division. That, what's the S for? The S is for six. Hello, I'm Agent Six. No, 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 not six. The S is for Sven. I'm, I am Sven the octopus, the septopus lead designer of arms i also have the most arms look at them look at all these arms agent six agent seven oh i have a joke oh no why was six afraid of seven because because seven because fen eight nine Yes, yes, yes. Much funny. We all have the humor. Clap, clap. Now let's get you gators into 
new vests. Snap, these are our latest models. Wool between woven in a uh, Hurley bone twill. All of suit latest spy technology, non factual ingredienteded into the thousand threads count weave, all accessible at the touch of a button. Beep. Oh, this is great. I like the demonstration. Oh, sure. Oh, sure. But I meant this PB and PB sandwich I got from Food Court. Butternut and peanut butter? N no, butter, peanut butter and pickle and bacon. What about the vest? Gulp. Does it come in blue? Blue would really bring out the color in my eyes. Mango, your eyes are just two little black dots, like mine. Mine too. I blame the artist for being lazy. Rub, 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 rub. Mmm, ah! Mmm? My face is gone! Uh, I'm good with a brown vest. Hurry up, it's been another eight pages since the explosion. Go, go, gators, wait. Um, where's the restroom on this level? I saw it. It's next to the food court. Okay, bye! Chapter 7. Just then, about 26 pages ago, an explosion had just rocked the science factory down on Electric Avenue. Did an experiment go wrong? It's hard to see what's happening through all the smoke. Cough, cough. Is everyone all right? Dr. Doodledoo, no! I'm fine, how are you? Oh, you found my lunch. Your lunch is an entire roast chicken? Hey, doing science makes me hungry. Uh, so this is awkward. Hopefully the injuries are minimally since most of the scientists are outside. I can see ambulance lights through the smoke now woo, woo, woo. over here this head science has a head injury this man needs a brain surgeon stat on the humanity so newsworthy but someone needs medical attention but some one needs medical attention. Chee choo chee choo chuck. Must get to hospital or er, pant pant pant. We we'll, clearly this situation calls for me to be more of a doctor and less of a copter. But now I have to turn back into skilled brain surgeon, Dr. Jake Hardbones. I'll take how I have to walk to the hospital. Uh, being Dr. Copter is both a blessing and a curse. Hey, th the bathroom is for customers only. Wow, what a cast of... Halt! There's been a science accident. We're investigators. Badgers. Badges. We're not badgers. We're alligators. Bip, zip, zip flip. Okay, check out. Did you notice anything unusual before the explosion? There's always something unusual going on at the place. But let me think. We're, we were in the middle of a cold sunburn, so everyone was outside. A guy delivered a giant birthday cake from the, from for Bob, which I wheeled inside. Then I ran into one uh, angry scientist who was on the phone. It, it said something about a uh, jamboree on the screen. Don't think I've seen him since, but it, 
it can be hard to tell these scientists apart. Well, except for the chicken. Oh, and the only serious injury seems to be to the head scientist who has was ta just taken away in an ambulance. Thanks, security dude. Keep up the good work. Jamboree sounds like a code word. Maybe the go signal to set off an explosion. Possibly. And there's something familiar about that John Brook they take. Hmm. hmm. Mango, you see what clues you can dig up inside. I'll talk to everyone out here. Got it. Scientists, my name is Brash. I'm an investigator from Zoot. Is everyone all right? Anyone uncounted? For we're all fine, just a few scrapes and bruises. But the head science was inside during the blast. Oh, and Bob was miss is missing, but no one likes him. Bob is a scientist. A uh, not one good one. He's only been here for. A like a week, and I already know one can tolerate him. Hmm. <laughs> Does anyone know what causes the explosion? No, we we have experience experiments blow up all the time, but nothing like this. It was all kablooey. Could it have been this scientist's breakthrough that was going to be revealed? No way. If it was, I'd have found pieces of it everywhere. But it's missing. Someone broke in, then broke out with our breakthrough. So, you know what the breakthrough was? Yes. I worked on it with the head science, but I'm not supposed to tell anyone what it does before the big announcement. Dang it. Man, lives could depend on this. Okay, okay. It's called the thingamabob, at, in, as in the scientist bob. No, wait, we changed it. It's called the thingma Steve. It's a laser beam that digitized actual money. It erases the physical cash from existent, but part, puts it and the value inside of the computer. It even works through walls, metal, brick, wood, straw, whatever. Just point it wherever. There's money and it's yours. It basically transfers money through the real world into any bank account you want. Pref preferably a high interest saving account. Why is it called the, the thingamabob Steve? Why not like the reverse ATM or the deploy share or, or cash grab? Hey, we're scientists, not writers. Well, I can see you wouldn't want to keep such a powerful tool safe. Pretty odd that you were going to announce it in, to the world on the news. Anyway, you said you haven't seen Bob since the explosion. Could he have taken the, the device? Did anyone have any of the birth of his birthday cake? What? No. One told me there was a. No one told me there was a cake. Hi there. I'm Sissy Boring Story Action News. I've interviewed scientist Bob, but that tape got ruined in the explosion. However. Our new chopper in the sky should have caught something on camera. Huh? Where'd it fly off to? Uh, thanks, sissy. I'll get to the chopper. Inside the factory. Digging for clues. Digging for clues. Oh, I know what t would help here. Boop, zip, zip. Digging for clues. That's... What's this? Gas. The medium oven. Shrug. Digging for clues, digging for clues, hmm, squish, hmm, hmm, 
slurp. Gasp again. Back outside. How about the the world jamboree? That mean that mean anything to anyone? It means party, right? Yo, somebody say party. Brash, brash. We have, have pants. And let me kiss my breath. Chug, 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 chug. Ah, oh, refreshing. Well, Bob's birthday cake. Bob's birthday cake was the right was right by the explosion, and it did was the same cake we made. Or, Something or somebody was hidden inside of it. I I knew there was something weird about those cake instructions. And not only that, I found the medium oven that's missing from the bakery. I was part of something called Project 808. Whose project is 808? Is it yours, the big chicken? You big chicken? Nah, bruh. I try to stay away from ovens I could fit in. Not my project either. Then, do any of you recognize this man? It it looks like the, his disappearance it may have something connection to what's happening here. I've seen him, bruh. He's the pizza guy from Pizza Boxes, yo. You, oh, are we having a pizza party? I missed out on cake. I'm not missing out on pizza. Hmm, 808 Bob, Bob's cake, the big oven. You mean medium oven? It's all beginning to make sense. Really? The head science was inside the factory with Bob's a cake, and no one's seen Bob since the explosion. What if Bob used the cake to sneak in a uh, accomplice? If if so, the head science may have seen them, and wherever that person went, the cake crumbs should lead to them. Mango, I'm talking. I'm going to talk to the head science at the hospital. You follow the trail of cake crumbs. Beep, boop, boop. It's a good thing we baked chocolate microchips into the cake. I can track them with my vest. Bip, 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 down below. You haven't heard every, everything you need to rebake me, Gustavio. This next batch better be perfect. A long, I long to be whole again. Y yes, that's why I use whole wheat flour this time. Hmm. Spongy. Burp. The crap is nice and moist. Yes. That's a lovely bake. The super dough is ready, Chef Gustavio. Prepare the mold. The super dough will make me harder, better, faster, stronger. At last, I will reveal myself to the investigators. At last, I will reveal. I will have revenge. Chapter eight. Elsewhere, all I'm saying is I knew the way to the hospital. Did a head science with a head injury come through here? Thanks. Hey, how could I know the GPS is was gonna take? us all over downtown. I will hope I'm not too late. Hey, you can you can't be in here. This man is being prepared for brain surgery. No. Doctor, yes I am Dr. Jake Cardone's brain surgeon. I need the integrator this man immediately. He, he's a key witness to multiple crimes. Breaking and entering and presenting and cake th th theft, possible kidnapped, kidnapping, and who knows, maybe even murder. That sounds incredibly newsworthy, but he, he needs this operation right now. So, ow, ow, you, ow, 
you go. Ow, 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 you go. Whoever's behind all this means business, I hope. Mango's furring better than I am. I don't want him to get hurt or worse. I haven't been partners for long, but I just can't go through that again. Nurse Gapel, shall I draw a dot in the intradate where it makes an engine? We no. No need. I'm going to eyeball it. Slice. Wow, you know, you really know how to chop a guy open. That they should call you the chopper, the chopper, 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 chopper. Chapter nine. Many moons ago. Where am I, Jake Harbuns? Back. Packing over the Scotland Highlands, or should I say, Doctor Jake Hardbones, as I am on a vacation to celebrate of my graduation for brain surgeon school. Ah, a village, perhaps. The townsfolk will let me pick their brains about any local legends. Pick their brains, haha. Now that I'm a brain surgeon, I know now that what that means. Hello, I'm not from around these parts. This seems like a place with tales to tell. Sigh. Well, oh, you want to hear a story, do ya? Indeed, I do. Every more. Even more moons ago, travelers came to this Anklet village on a mission machine from the sky. It was a helicopter. Chop chop. These be- beings probed probed our minds with the technology. It was a new crew filming a piece of bed and breakfast. Chop, chop, chop! Hopping to chase, hoping to chase them out of the town. The local mystic cursed their flying captions with rabies. That part's true. In the dark of the lunar eclipse, they got in their machine and flew off, never to be seen again. They were maybe they were here maybe twenty minutes. Chop chop chop. But on nights like this, their flying devil can still be heard. Chop 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 chop. And some say it haunts the hillside, waiting for victims to pass its curse to on to. Who says that? I do. I say it. I said it just now. Weren't you listening? Chop chop chop. So, uh, has this rabid helicopter bitten anyone? No, not yet. But beware, boy. For the next lunar eclipse is tonight. Dun dun dun. Chop. Chop, chop, chop. Ha <laughs> ha. I just a uh, lumberjack. It's just a lumberjack chopping wood. What a silly tale. Chop, chop, chop. It's it has gotten really dark, but but I'm not scared. Huh? Chop, chop. I hear I hear that lumberjack again. Did I get turned around in the dark? Chop, chop, chop. Oh wait, I've got a light and. On my head, chop 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 chop, chop 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 chop. Click, ah, lunge, chomp, ah, grr, chomp 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 chomp, twig, chunk, news, away foul beast, yip 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 yip. You were bitten pretty bad, son. You need a doctor. I.
I am a doctor. Not just a doctor anymore. You're a you you're a work copter now. That machine's curse is cursing through your veins, and now, and that's bad news. Now, whatever there is news, you will be forced to transform into a news copter to report on it. You have become Doctor Copter. No. Oh, Doctor, the patient is flattening. Boop boop boop. This is my fault. I knocked out the record. Chapter 10. Meanwhile, all over downtown. All over town. Beep, 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 beep. Mango is tracking the chocolate microchips. Man, wherever this culprit went, this sure took the long way to get there. Wait a minute. Beep, beep, beep. Hmm? Well then, next time I'll drive. Fine. My lenses is expired anyway. Beep, 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 beep. Beep, 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 beep. Mingle, what are you doing here? You're supposed to be following the cake crumbs. I did. The signal led me right here. Well, not right here. It led me all over downtown. Hold up. If the tracker led you here and the head science is here, then this was the ins- an inside job. The head science was inside the factory w- with the cake and the inventor. The cake must have b- been meant to sneak the inv- invention out. What about Bob? Bob was clearly his partner who double-crossed him, set off the explosion at as a distraction and made off with the invention himself. Hmm, I don't know. Drop that brain. Um, I really shouldn't. This man is the criminal. Wake up. You were going to steal the money Ray thing. The cake was your idea. Confess. I confess, I know it was wrong. Ha ha. I ate some of the cake even though it's not my birthday. It's true. According to his ID, today is not his birthday. And look, a slice, I sliced him open and found a slice of cake. If he was going to sneak that device out of in the cake, why would he eat the cake? I don't know. I don't think this mystery is solved yet, Brash. You're right, Mango. What are we missing? If I only find had the tape from that news helicopter, hold this. Wait! I happen to know that news helicopter, and if you were here, he'd want you to have this. Have what? Jimmy, one sec. Pop! Here you go. Uh, thanks. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to get back to saving this, that man's life. Nurse, where were we? Well, I was eating the cake, uh, but maybe we should put the brain back. Correct. And... Who knows? If I put this brain uh, in just right, maybe the science will be even smarter than he was before. Ha ha ha. Well, that would be news. Twitch. Let's get back to the bakery and watch the news footage. Brash, what's wrong? Mango, this investigation has me worried uh, that something bad is going to happen. At the bakery? Brash, we're partners. I trust you with my life. So whatever you what whatever you think will happen, Mango. That last time I went to undercover at a bakery, my partner died. I lost one partner, and now I'm afraid to lo- lose of losing another partner. 
I'm so sorry, Brass. I didn't know, but fear is no reason to give up. We're investigators, not investigators. You won't lose me, and I know you won't. You think you may think we've hit a rock bottom, but you can go even lower into the sewer. And now, now let's flush ourselves down the nearest toilet and gator done. Speaking of the sewer, um, if you don't mind me asking, how'd you get this? I don't mind. But now that you mentioned it, maybe my original story will help you with your task. I just always, I want, I wasn't always a tasty treat, but I also wasn't a tasty taste for justice. I was once a good guy, Gustavio, a crocodile named Daryl, but then a uh, castor elf changed all that. What happened? I fell into the a rat, a vat of reductive cracker dough. I thought I was gonna die. Instead, I became one with the dough. Machines rolled me out and baked me into indulged saltines. Then I was packaged wet on a truck and shipped off to who knows where. Inside the box, I felt myself growing thanks to the reductive, or maybe it was the rapid rice yeast. I combined with all the other me crackers and burst through the vacuum seal forevermore to be known as Cracker Daryl. What? No, Cracker Daryl, because I'm a crocodile. So Cracker Daryl does work. C does kind of work, but no. If I went by Cracker Daryl, someone someone might recognize me by the name. As cra Cracker Dial, I could be any Cracker Dial who fell into a vat of radioactive Cracker dough and came back to life. Are there a lot of those running around? No, I'm all alone, Gustavio. Live since my evolution it hasn't been kind. The transformation may have granted me the strength of a giant saltine, but it also made me weak and much moisture and hungry vermin. Then why do you live in the sewer? It's full of b both moisture and vermin. I might be the crumbling remains of a crocodile on the outside, but I'm still a crocodile on the inside. Well, you will crumble no more after you get inside and then come out of the baking mold. With your super dough, I, I'll be incredibly soon. The world will bask in the fresh from the oven heat of crocodile rebaker this will make you more of a cookie really or maybe a biscuit just get on with it mustachio hmm super dough oh that's called the blurp timer hmm. hmm now's my chance chapter 11 Back in the battered down kitchen. Okay, here we go. Oh, down there. That's the reporter in viewing and viewing the scientists. I don't see him at the factory. That must be scientist Bob. Then the guy and the guy who ordered it showed up. Now that I think about it, he why was he in a raincoat when the sun was out. Beat, beats it. And then the guard wheels the cake inside. Wait, go back. Incense. Play Zoom 3. Play Zoom 3. Play Zoom 3. That guy didn't just deliver the cake. He got inside the cake. It was an inside job after all. And inside the cake job. Okay, so... So the guy in the cake wheels it in the factory, and then here we see scientist Bob run out from the gate. 
I bet he's the angry scientist who secretly dude is, ran into. Bob must have been giving that guy the in the cake the go signal to set off the explosion. Jamboree! Then the head scientist assistant called everyone back inside and boom! There's a lot of smoke. Can't see much. Stop. Freeze. Right there. Are those horns? Double enhance. Triple enhance. Give it all the enhance. That's a triceratops. Not just any triceratops. That's Houdino, the dinosaur escaped artist. That means the guy in the raincoat was the a hooded Houdino, an escape artist and mastery of disguise appearance. Junior, Assistant Baker Marie, where's the store copy of the recipe for the, the giant birthday cake? Here. If he paid with a credit card, we c can track him where else he's gone. Drat. He paid cash. How are we going to find him? Breaking news. All over the city, money has disappeared in, into thin air. This is Sissy Bourne story in the Action News Now Studio. The city's banks are empty. One minute the money was there, and the next it was gone. Poof! It's like someone has a laser beam that can suck up money through walls. One thing's for sure: if your money is in, if your money's in a safe, your money isn't safe. Great now that there's a crime wave with the scientist breakthrough Houdino doesn't even to need to break in to make a breakout so if scientist Bob hired Houdino to steal the invention how does the connect to the this the Gustavo's disappearance hmm. oh uh which one of you is pretending to be Gustavio this time? I mean, Chef Gustavio is missing again. What? That's like so cray. Who do you keep texting? Snatch. On way. Heat too hot. Stay out kitchen. Sab Bob. Could that be scientist Bob? Yes, that... And when the guard told us Bob's phone said Jamboree, what he actually was a jam Jamboree. Bob was talking the, to to junior assistant Baker Marie. You're in coat You're in coach with scientist Bob. What's he need the oven for? Oven? What are you talking about? The big oven is missing medium oven we have like so many ovens you can't e expect me to notice if one is missing you only had three and for some people they're very easy to tell apart forget that's where houdino what have you done with gustavio i nothing i know nothing about no Houdino and Gustavio. It was just an accident, honest. We we saw him fall down a manhole and instead of calling for help, we did nothing. What do you mean, we? Ding, ding, Gustavio, it's a me. Chef Gustavio, I'm, I'm all right. Well, this mystery certainly solved itself. I guess our work here is done. Case closed. What, no, Mango? Not case closed. Where are still many threads to resolve? Ah, junior assistant Baker Marie. I'm so glad you're okay. Uh, thanks. When I found myself in chains, I feared the worst. I had to take to bake and bake and bake and bake and i was afraid once i could bake no more you'd be forced to suffer the same fate it's a good to be back and see you're safe 
No, so Marie wasn't involved in your disappearance? No, Marie and Bob had nothing to do with it. Say, where is Bob? You know Scientist Bob. Scientist Bob? No, Senior Assistant Baker Bob. He's my employees. I trust Bob with anything, except my secret recipes, which I keep up here in your hat. Bleep, blurp, mango, look, Lance. Heat too hot. Stay out kitchen. You still there? Ding, ding, sub Bob. Uh, stop right there. Mango, enter gator mode on. Whoop, whoop. What are you talking? What? were you and bob up to talk i'll talk i'll talk bob was tired of living in chef gustavio's mush though he wanted to start our own bakery together but gustavio keeps all his best recipes in his head but what about this book in his book that book only goes up to in claire there are 21 more letters for the recipe after that. The only way to figure out Gustavio's recipe is to reverse engineer them. But that takes more science and we had available to us here. And at the science factory, we've got all the science. That's right, when Bob and I saw Gustavio fall, down that manhole i it was the perfect opportunity to put our plan into action we didn't think he was missing we just thought he was stuck in a manhole so bob disguised himself as a scientist to blend in at the scientist factory and destructed the savio's baked goods with scientists to steal his secret recipe that's why he took the big oven, medium oven. You mean that oven? No, no, that oven was with me. But I saw it at the science factory, the Bake Mystier 2000. It's one of the three best ovens in the market. You can cook up almost anything in there. I'd be surprised to find the science factory didn't have at least one of their own ovens. Zip, zip. So was Bob working with Houdino or what? Who Dino? Who Dino? Who Dino? Who enough? He doesn't know who Dino. Which means the connections between Gustavio's disappearance and Marie's recipe thieving and Houdino's cake shenanigans are just coincidence. I guess the general inspector lunch was wrong. Murray, why would you steal my recipe? I thought y you liked working at Batter Down. I was just in for the dough. And by dough, I mean money. And you bumblebee gators will never catch Senior Assistant Baker Bob. He's too smart for you. Oh, really? Tap, tap, tap. Sub Bob, you still there? Co coast in, coast is clear. Come back to bakery. It just needs toop, toop, toop. I am deleting your boop, poop message and enjoys. Um boop, um boop. Ah, uh, you're no fun. Soon, ding ding. Ooh, glad that's oven with Bob's tired of laying low. Good thing I just happened to run out of the factory with the stolen recipe right after the explosion. And with Gustavio stuck in the manhole, Baker's Bob is going to have the best baker goods in the world. Marie? Clamp. Oh, dang. Hi, Bob. Chapter 12. Whoop, whoop. That's... Two criminals down. Good job, partner. We Now we've got to figure out how to catch Houdino before he robs the entire city. That triceratops will be hard to find. Houdino can easily blend in with a crowd, especially when he's wearing his raincoat, indeed. Let's see if suit this day base has any unflu into on...
to him. Beep, verp, suitpedia. Houdino is a master escape artist. He, be he began his career by performing daring feats of escape in stage, on stage, bait, breaking chains, getting out of handcuffs, escaping straight jacks, that sort of things. But what he couldn't escape were low ticket sales. He so he turned a life of crime, mostly bank robbing. He wouldn't pass up a, a steal and couldn't pass up a deal. There was no vault that could stop him and no cell that could hold Houdino like, likes to break and break out and break dance. Like, well, Mango looks like the, to bust Houdino. We'll have to bust it a move. And so, you've got to push it to pop it, rock it to lock it, break it to make it, believe it to be it. Who wants to show us their moves? Anyone? Huh, I guess those hot refresh moves Inspector Vagu taught, we, you, Taught us enough to set Houdino's attention. Well, at least we made some money. What? Our money vanished. Houdino must have taken it well with the money o money ray thing. Grr. I was sure he wouldn't find to be able to resist a dance off, but it looks looks like the only thing Houdino can resist is money, even if it's small change. The only thing he left us were lints and mismatch buttons what with that invention robbing anyone is a piece of cake hold up that investive only works on money which means houdino can't use it to steal anything else right so what's the money for he hasn't been caught spending it on anything maybe he's saving it for a rainy day He's got that raincoat after all. Yeah, but with all that money, he could buy anything he wants and then use the device to steal the money back again. That's a good point. Houdino's not just shifty, he's also thrifty. We have to lure him out of something money can't buy. Love? No, something's got that can't he step through walls. Oh, I see where you're going. What's this? With this. To catch this Triceratops, we'll have to set a tri Tricera trap. Chapter 13. And soon. I may have more money now than I could ever spend. But I'm not going to pass up something that's free. Eventually. Thank you. Come again. Enjoy your peanut butter pickle bacon be pastry bun. I would never have thought so many people on held on to the recipe. This one is seven years old. This coffin is cost costing us a fortune. At the this rate, our bakery will be out of business by tomorrow. I think you mean will put Gustavio's bakery out of business. All right, ding, ding. Shh, shh. This might be Houdino. Is that him? I can't tell with his hood up. I'd like a, my free P, P, and B, P, and P, B, please. Wow, so polite, especially for Wink. A crook! Grr! Beep! Slam! Tricera trapped! You won't be stealing money from this anymore. How do you even know about this thing, Houdino? I did it, but when I saw it on the news that all the scientists in the science factory were outside, I knew that place would be easy to pickings there's always some contraption that could be used for evil as the science factory and handily enough this one came with the instruction manual 
it's the dishwasher safe and the reuse with the cake. Everyone likes cake easy my way, easy my way in. Though I do li li live to make an explosion exit. Well, your exciting days are over. You lizards think you this cage can hold the great Houdino? Nothing stops this triceratops. Rink, beep, wham. Stack, 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 stack. Push, push, push. Fold, fold, fold wrap, tie, tie. That's a wrap. How are we going to get him out of the store? Probably the same way the big oven was taken out. Medium oven. Wait, we never found who kidnapped Seth Gustavio or why. That's the reason we were in the first place. Gustavio! Gators, please tell me I can stop baking your crazy pastries. I did enough of that. I did enough in that sewers. What happened to you? Start from the beginning. Well, I was born a poor farm boy. Start from your ad abduction. I was walking, waxing my mustache while walking toward when someone grabbed my leg and pulled me down. <clears throat> he was the most invasive character, though. Maybe he'd be all right with a sharp cheese and some press trios. He was crumbling half eaten. You're not making any sense, man. He forced me to develop a new type of dough, a super dough, a hybrid of cracker dough, cake, and cookies, and bread. A hybrid. He made me rebake him in the medium oven. Told you, you must have... He must have stolen it when no one was looking. Gustavio, where he, was he a cracker? He, yes, he called himself Cracker Dow. No, no, not possible. Brash? What does that mean, Brash? Gustavio, what happened next? How did you escape? Well, he was baking. I broke free of my shakles with a spoon. And now I had to do the this most horrible thing. Crawl out of the sewers? No, I broke the first rule of baking. I left while the oven was on. You had to do what you had to do, Gustavio. Sob. It was a loaf or death situation. He, he, he. Uh -huh. Excuse me. Sob. Brash, you okay? I think I know who this crocodile is. Mango. The, it's it's time I told you what I what happened to my old partner at the bakery. His name was Daryl. He was Suits' top agent. He learned so much from him. I learned so much from him in our time together. Our assignments were was supposed to be easy as pie, but no one expected it to be his last last mission. We were. Cracking down the cracker company that was disposed of nuclear waste by baking it into salt teams. We cracked the case, but there was an accident with the cat. Daryl fell into the redactive dough, warp, glope, glope, and was never seen again. Or so I thought, but he must have been alive this whole time. I could have said. I could have saved him. It's all my fault. And now he's an evil assault team out for revenge. Yeah, I'd be assault team about being left to die, too. Sorry, Brash. I can only imagine how difficult this can be. Thanks, Mango. But you're a great detective. And Mustachio is safe now. We can deal with Crocodile later. Something tells me his time soon will be up. Chapter 15, not far below. Tick, 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 ding, wham. Ha ha, bake to perfection. Gustavio, where are you? Escaped? But I don't need you any more anyway. 
now that I've been baked, baked with super dough, I feel, I feel, I feel normal, actually. I should feel stronger. What is this? Or what isn't this? He baked me with normal dough. No, boy. That was some surgery. Back at the hospital. Not quite newsworthy, thank you, thankful, but still a success. Thanks, Dr. Hardbones. I feel much better and even smarter. Hey, oh. Ah, you must be the investigators. Feel better? Yes, thanks to the doc. And n thanks to you two for recovering my invention. Who knows the damage that crook should could have done to the economy. But I've made sure it won't fall into the wrong hands again. I've handed it over to the government. Well, I'm sure we'll hear all about that on the evening evening news. Yes, that sounds irresponsibly newsworthy. Ah! Ah! Huh? Well, the stavio and his recipe are safe. A bunch of assistant bakers are in custard. Houdini is behind bars that are behind even more bars. And the world's money is safe from uh -huh. criminals. Another job well done. But Mango, what about Crocodile? Even if Gustavio didn't use the super dough as a former partner of suit, Crocodile is still a force to be reconned with. Listen, we're... Mango and Brass, we're investigators. We're, when Crocodile comes out uh, for us, we'll be ready for him. We'll get that cracker in a jam. He'll be toast. Well, we'll, we'll, we'll bring that crust to the juice. Ha, good one. The end for now.